Hello everybody, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. Um, stopped by the saw shop today and picked, picked up another lanyard for myself. And the last time I bought two lanyards, I didn't look close and it didn't have a swivel on one end. And now I hardly ever use that lanyard. I've done used it a couple times, you can't take it back. And we just use it for a backup lanyard. And uh, sometimes my guys are in the bucket truck, they're using my lanyard. And uh, <clears throat> I don't want to use the other one. Sometimes I'm forced to, but so I figured while I was at the saw shop to look at the new steel blowers that just came out that I haven't seen before. The 800 C's, I think they call them. Awesome blower. We're going to be doing a review on that pretty soon. But I went ahead and got the uh, the lanyard. <clears throat> it's uh, Spider Manufacturing. Okay. Here's a little. Give you a little pamphlet comes with um, show you that real quick alrighty but um, and then it has like a little another little booklet I guess that this is the carabiner it comes with a carabiner it comes with your uh, little booklet for that I mean, there's a lot of pages in this little thing. Anyway, i just kind of give you an idea of all that. How many, man, it's a lot of pages. Okay. Wow, there's like 31 pages for this little um, climb, uh, climb work and rescue ISC solutions in metal. Um, <clears throat> ISC, that's the little booklet on the carabiner. And usually these don't come with carabiners when I bought them last time, but this one does actually come with a carabiner. But the thing I like <clears throat> is the swivel. This part right here. Make sure you get a swivel. Because if you don't, <clears throat> it's a pain in the tail. And then you have to buy um, something that goes on there to swivels. But this is best to have the swivel on there. That way it's not as big and bulky. And um, this is the 8-foot lanyard. This is like the standard lanyard for most of your basic tree work. And <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this on my new climbing gear set. Um, I'm gonna have my my guys are gonna I'm gonna let them use my old my old lanyard. Um, it's just as good as this one. It's just uh, we've been using it a while and <clears throat> they're used to it. It's been outside a little bit. Um, anyway just bringing you this lanyard letting you know this is what I prefer. I don't know if you guys out there, they, um, if you try the one with the swivel on it, when you're going up the tree, you don't have to keep messing with your, your lanyard. It just, it keeps the kinks and the twists out of it. And it, when you're up in a tree, the last thing you want to worry about is a twisted up uh, lanyard in a bind. Um, so I recommend getting the swivel on the end of your lanyard. It's, I'm, I'm, trust me, <laughs> you're going to, you're going to really appreciate it when you're up in the tree, you're hot. And uh, you're dealing with the heat and the tree and the, all the discomforts. That one thing, I mean, is going to make the difference of night and day. Because I, I remember when I'm uh, when I was going up a tree and uh, I look down and it's the wrong lanyard, doesn't have the swivel. I'm just like, oh man, this is going to be a pain in the tail. So anyway, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. Um, uh, the eight foot spider. Uh, lanyard comes with the uh, uh, carabiner already on there so um, I actually I use a different one I use a double swivel uh, lanyard uh, carabiner on there so because this has a tendency to twist up as well so what I usually do is I put um, a swivel or a double carabiner with a swivel in the middle and that does the same thing it keeps from your uh, lanyard binding up so I don't have one of those with me because I'm not at the shop, but that's another thing I recommend is put a swivel, double carabiner or some type of swivel in there. Also keeps the um, lanyard from not binding up. So again, this is Roger from Roger's Reviews. If you like, if you like this video, please crush the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you more gear for the tree world. Uh, I don't climb as much as I normally are used to, but now I know what the good gear is and what keeps you comfortable as possible in a tree. So that's basically what I'm doing is just giving you uh, information. I've been climbing for almost 20 years 
and <clears throat> the the more comfortable you can be um it's just it's better it's safer for everybody you can take your time and you can uh think about what you're doing you're not in a hurry you're not uncomfortable you can sit up there you know an extra 20 or 30 minutes and make the right decisions and not be in a hurry and keep everybody safe so like i said if you like this video crush the like button subscribe and i'll bring you more videos to help you give you more information and hopefully make you give you uh the information to make a better buying decision if you're buying this type of equipment thanks for watching and take care and be safe